Hey, what's going on? I hope everybody's out there having a blessed, wonderful day for today. So for this project right here, I'm really, really excited to start on this one. This is gonna be my first time using watercolor on watercolor paper with pastel and charcoal and glitter. So every single time when I'm always working on a project, I always want to try something new and I want to focus on something different. Now for this one right here, I was trying to work with color and realistic at the same time by using two different type of materials, which I was a little bit scared, but in the beginning, I really found it really, really fun. Now I did notice that I did make a couple of mistakes, but that's okay. It's always good to try something new and learn from your mistakes so this way you can learn what to do and what not to do. Hey, we all have a learning curve and a learning process that we have to learn. So for this one right here, I'm drawing um, WWE Superstar that was formerly known as Sasha Banks. Right now she is New Japan um, wrestler and she is known as Mercedes Monet her real name. I'm a big, big, big fan of Mercedes. And I love the way her hair looked on her debut at Wrestle Kingdom when she was going against um, Kairi Sane. Uh, I was like, wow, I have to draw this picture. So this is like my fourth attempt drawing Sasha Banks. I mean, Mercedes. And this one is gonna be Blueprint 3. Now, Blueprint 1 was just with graphite. Blueprint 2 was with white and black charcoal. Now, Blueprint 3 is with charcoal and pastel and watercolor. So, for this one right here, I started off with the background. I figured for the background, I could just make some smokes. They almost look like ribbons, but it's just smoke coming out. Then I started off with the hair, and I felt like that was my mistake. I should have started off with the black and white charcoal details to the face and the hands, then the color. Because as I kept the color first, it, it kind of smushed throughout the work, and I had to constantly keep erasing it and watch over where my hand was so this way it's not smudging the pastel. If I would have did the black and white first, then the pastel last, I feel like it would have been a little bit easier for me, especially with that outline of the person. And when you're ever, ever, ever using color, you always want to keep the black last. So this way, black always make everything pop up. But for this way, when you want to hit those um, curves and those corners, you could just darken them up and then there's certain areas where you're looking at, you could just um, polish up. It fix up with just the color black. Now, um, for this one right here, I constantly kept on using um, the blending stop. I constantly, I constantly kept on using the blending stop for both the charcoal and the pastel. I didn't really use the brush for her hair. When I was doing it, I was mainly just using the blending stop just to um, go over the things. And really, I always say this on every single video and every single uh, reel that I do. Whenever I'm explaining hair, you always want to um, act like you're combing the person hair. You never want to go back and forth stroke. You always want to go with a certain flow and you want to keep that flow. So this way the hair could look very, very realistic. Um, I noticed that she had um, pierce, eye pierce. So with those right there, I just used glitter. So this way it could just pop out more. I was going to use the watercolor or maybe marker, but I feel like with glitter, it would just pop out. One thing about with glitter, I tried not to use silver glitter because I feel like on my, on my artwork, it doesn't really pop out and you can't really see it or notice it. So I always try to use different color. 
I heard um, one person told me that their professor told them not to use glitter on their artwork. But does art really have a rule when it comes down to art? I mean, yes, there's certain things you should follow here and there. But at the end of the day, it's really up to you and how the artwork comes out, you know? So as you can see right now, I was just starting off with the light charcoal uh, pencil. Then later on, I stepped to the medium. But as soon as I finish with the light charcoal pencil, um, I always hop into um, the charcoal powder. Then I go into the medium charcoal pencil. Then for the very, very last point, I do use the black charcoal pencil and then I use the charcoal powder more. Just to get to those areas that I could just darken up more and more. Now for right here, I was a little bit focusing on her lips. When I mean a little bit, I mean step by step, little by little. Cause I didn't want to do too much. She had her tongue sticking out and her teeth. And um, I was gonna color the lips. I was thinking about that. But then as I was like halfway in, I was like, it was kind of like a little bit late for me to color the lips since I already did with too much details with the charcoal pencil. I didn't really want to mess that up. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like the lips look so perfect. Um, I didn't want to take that chance <clears throat> to slip up and mess up with it. So right now, this is the finishing piece and I will be putting this up on my social media. I hope you guys like this and subscribe.